tonight we want to talk to you young and beautiful people about one of the great pieces of modern literature. It's a piece we had to learn in our final year of school, and I'm sure a lot of you people had it on your curriculum as well. It's a piece that rates with the works of Shakespeare, with Marlowe, with Goethe, with, with Collins, and even, even Schultz. It's a beautiful piece. And, John, don't want a bit of chatter here, mate. If you want to talk, you talk after, please, because you could actually learn something here, so just shut up and listen. And you, Miss Robinette? Yes, you know who I'm talking about. Don't distract him, please. The piece that we're going to do for you tonight is, of course, the great Jimmy Page and Robert Plant classic. Stairway to Heaven. And who better to sing it with us, of course, than our schoolmaster from our school days, a man who changed our lives completely. Is he the crock of gold? No! Is he the crock of shit? No! Is he the crock of Barry? Yeah! The crock of Barry! 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 Crock The glitter is gold, and she's buying the spell to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with a word, she can get what she came for. Oh, that sorry about that, Barry. Look, John. John, could you stop it? There's a great performer there working, and you're just talking all the way through it. Now have a bit of decency for someone else, please. Stop it. Now, everyone else, a lady. Who is the lady that Barry's talking about? I mean, that's a question that we've all asked ourselves. To really understand this song, you've got to listen to it not only with your mind, but with your heart. Who is that lady? If you examine the text of this piece, then you find that lady is none other than Miss Shirley Bassey. Take There's away, Barry. a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure. Because she knows sometimes words have two meanings. Barry's right. Words have two meanings. They're called simul hominy. Richard, what's an example? Well, there's the word there, for instance, as in, isn't that their house over there? There's two uses for the one word, Jim. It certainly is. <laughs> and there are many other words that have two meanings, like hump, jag, root, pork. <laughs> Take it away, Barry. And it's whispered that soon, if we all call Jim, and the Bible Makes me wonder. And it makes Barry wonder. in your head, sir. If I can have a moment, that of course comes from the Latin Bastula in your fence. First used was Shakespeare's wonderful play, The Taming of the Shrew, where his wonderful character Puck said to the lovely Lady Hamlet, may I put my bustle in your head, sir. I think there you see the lyric from Plant, planting that image to make you wonder makes you wonder Like 
Richard Barry. <laughs> and she's buying a stairway to... That's when good neighbors <laughs> She's buying a stairway to hell 